Coming up on today's nightly news. European Commission warns third countries to step up their fight against illegal fishing. Future of Europe group plans closer EU integration. Let us out from a European prison. Ireland faces fresh vote on EU treaty. David who? Bowles beats Cameron in poll on EU's most influential Britons. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. European Commission warns third countries to step up their fight against illegal fishing. The European Commission has singled out the eight third countries Belize, Cambodia, Fiji, Guinea, Panama, Sri Lanka, Togo and Vanuatu, criticising them for their lack of commitment in tackling illegal fishing. The decision, which is the first of its kind, comes as the European Commission steps up its actions to fight illegal fishing worldwide by warning the eight third countries that they risk being identified as countries it considers non-cooperative in the fight against illegal, unreported, unregulated fishing, or IUU. Now, clearly the EU has no mandate in these countries, but that hasn't stopped them elsewhere, has it? Stones and glass houses comes to mind. Never mind the state dodging Belizean tuna poachers. What about the illegal starvation of EU pigs? I am, of course, referring to the people in Portugal, Ireland, Greece and Spain. Future of Europe Group plans closer EU integration. 11 EU countries have drawn up a plan to strengthen the 27-nation bloc and make it a bigger global player. German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwell headed the Future of Europe Group, which met in Poland's capital, Warsaw, on Monday. The Future of the Europe Group was the planned topic for the latest episode of Eurocon, but events in the EU have rather overtaken that agenda. Needless to say, this report is of critical importance as it involves treaty change and restructure, all of which sets in motion the creation of a federal United States of Europe. Let us out from a European prison. Frederick Forsyth of the Express Online sharpens his satirical wit in this excellent piece and writes... What an extraordinary person is Chancellor Angela Merkel. I wish I could say that in an admiring sense, but alas not. Her latest claustrophobic gem is to tell us in the UK that out of the throttling EU we might be lonely in that big bad world. Frederick then goes on to say, Look, Mrs Councillor, we were running most of the big bad world before Bismarck, when you were a bunch of farm-sized mini-states. <laughs> you can read the full article at theunit.com. It's really very funny. Ireland faces fresh vote on EU treaty. The spectre of yet another EU treaty change and the possibility of another Irish referendum was on the cards last night in a move that would further delay any resolution of the country's banking debt. Oh, come on! You're kidding me, right? This is a joke. An Irish referendum that gives the people less choice than Henry Ford gave purchasers of the Model T. David who? Bowles beats Cameron in poll of EU's most influential Britons. A survey to mark 40 years of the UK in the European Union finds that obscure MEPs and Eurocrats wield more influence than the Prime Minister. It's a triumph for the much maligned faceless functionaires inside the Brussels bubble, but a right slap in the face for Britain's Prime Minister, its foreign policy chief and its political leaders overall. Sharon Bowles, the Liberal Democrat MEP who chairs the European Parliament's Monetary Affairs Committee, emerges, rather surprisingly, as Britain's most influential person in and on Europe. This is a right classic, and the top 20 Europe's most influential Brits is stunning. <laughs> Go and have a look at it for yourself. See if you recognise anyone. 
The links are below. Eurocon Episode 2 Episode 2 of Eurocon has been released with expert guests. Trevor Coleman introduces Dr Eric Edmund and Kate Reeves explains what a British renegotiation with the EU really means. And I've put links to the video below. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website www.theunit.com You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.